My name is Ben Cobb. I live here in Tacoma, Washington, and I've been working at the museum for the past almost 12 years. Um, and my role here is the head gaffer and the hotshot manager. The visiting artist residencies here are typically a week long, and this is the second time that I've done it here, and it's a fantastic opportunity to play, experiment, um, possibly make, make new things, make new work, and um, it's a time where you can kind of uh, breathe a little bit and not be so concerned about the financial constraints and be a little bit more free with, with what you make. There's a, a crew of four of us who work very closely together all the time. We're kind of like a very tight family. We typically are working for another artist. Painters and poets and glassmakers and ceramic artists and um, people who work with metal, it runs a gamut. It's, it's kind of the conversations that you have sometimes with artists and you're able to do this with people from all over the world. You're able to bounce your ideas off other people and maybe get some feedback and critiques from a wide variety of people and from a lot of different viewpoints. So I think that is very helpful in, in, in pursuing your ideas. I always thought I was going to be a marine biologist. That didn't happen. Um, never thought I'd necessarily be an artist and a maker, but I'm quite happy doing what I'm doing and it's been a lot of fun. Most of my stuff is sort of abstract biological forms and to do with the human body as well as uh, the natural world around me. So we spend, my family and I, we spend a lot of time in the outdoors, you know, camping and hiking and fishing. And so a lot of uh, the colors of the Northwest out here, um, the colors and some of the forms I come across and kind of merging those two with some biological forms. Um, that's what I've focused on for the past six or so years, making things like that. And now I'm starting to make a little bit of a departure from that as well. This week we we're working on a series of uh, a bunch of different things really, but the main focus is to make these large scale cylinders to make into sheet glass to um, make sort of abstract slides, microscope slides, and they're scaled up. Here are some you know, images of actual slides and diatoms. This, is, this here is muscle tissue. These are different um, cells. I'm trying to just use these as source imagery for inspiration to um, get the finished product here. So all microscope slides um, have different dyes or stains that stain the tissue or the matter so that they, it shows up underneath a microscope. I think what I came across and what I remember a typical micro microscope slide is about one inch by three inches. I've scaled them up to eight by 24 and we're using various techniques and we're blowing these up to make these um, large scale slides. I'm not sure what the finished product will be, but it'll be a small installation of these panels on a wall. Just keep it on center, all right? I think a lot of my work is very tight and very controlled and this, although the finished product will be tight and very controlled, the getting there involves uh, using techniques that um, are just a little looser than my, my normal working style, but it's to get the overall effect for the finished product. Looks good to me. Punty back corner something. Oh, torch. Oh, we haven't done that in a while, huh? I want to apply technique to my ideas. Perfect. Don't want, don't want the work to be all about technique, but, you know, learning how to do something and do it well, and then take that knowledge and apply it to making your idea realized. What? Yeah. All right, squeeze. Cool, thank you.